guys, uh, I just wanted to show off my newest redstone creation. Uh, it's more of a proof of concept idea. It can be expanded much larger and then hooked up maybe to a printer or a 3D printer. Um, but here's the uh, first version of it. And basically what it is, is you're gonna draw on this blue area with cobblestone or uh, whatever material and glass. And then you'll just throw this lever, hit that button, and it'll push it through like a little, I guess, reader, you could call it, and then it'll display it on that little matrix over there. All right, so here it goes. I'm just gonna start with uh, smiley face. So you're gonna make whatever you want with a solid material and then fill in all the spaces with glass. Then you're gonna flip this lever and hit this button. There you go. It's pretty simple. Now, like I was saying earlier, you could probably, instead of hooking this up to a display, you could hook it up to a printer and print whatever design you had here and uh, yeah it looks to be about it now I'm just going to show you how this thing works so it's actually really small it has um, memory for each layer and within each layer there's four blocks so it has four sets of memory within each layer and then four of those, one for each layer. So that's the, uh, it's perfect. And then the, um, output of that memory comes out onto this green wool, and that just goes right to the display board. All right, and then the actual reader part is really simple. That is right here. So I just have torches and repeaters that go through the blocks. So the blocks will be passing through like this. All right. So this layer would look like something like that. And then it's off, on, on, off. So that's how that works. And that just goes right out there. And then that goes onto the blue. And this blue wool takes um that information and puts it into uh, each layer's memory and then the layers are controlled by this right here and this is just a counter Let's see if I can actually show you it so it's just a counter running into the scene of shorteners and that basically allows it to only open up one layer at a time and the layer is open just as the corresponding layer is being pushed through the reader. The output is then pushed out here. Um, the sand falls down and is broken and then that goes into this block right here which is just a collection area that you can delete. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Like I said, you could you can make this much larger and uh, be able to create a uh, much larger area right here um, without too much work. This was just uh, the first version of it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and sub. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. Alright, see you guys next time.